Hi, this is Dolores Hirschman from DoloresHirschman.com and I want to tell you a story. Last night, we, my husband and I were having dinner with some friends. We had an event with our children and we ended up having dinner together. And the conversation, I was talking with my friends and um, their wives and we were just talking about children and activities and things like that and one of the women started talking about a ski. And we're all passionate skiers, so we're talking about powder skiing versus, you know, New England skiing, which is much colder, and you are lucky if you get one day of good powder um, during the winter. And one of the things that this woman was talking about, and she was raised in Colorado, so she was raised skiing with deep, fresh powder. Um, and we're talking about, is it harder, is it easier? How, how do you ski when you, have a, when you have those conditions? And what she said, um, made me smile because I was thinking about something else at the time and what she said was well when you have when you're skiing in deep powder the trick is to lean back right when you're skiing in in regular trails or in on ice you kind of you know bend your knees and lean forward a little bit so you have control with the skis but when you have a lot of powder you lean back which is really hard to do for skiers who are not used to it and it made me think about something else and things that I encounter in my own life and working with my clients. And it's that when we feel that we don't have what we need, we kind of lean forward and, and try to control the situation or, or get aggressive or, or, you know, just get off our center. And when we are feeling safe and trusting in, in a place of what I call abundance, we tend to lean back a little bit, be more forgiving, be more patient, be more understanding, have more empathy. And so one of the things I, I'm thinking this morning, and I you know, went for a run and came back and I'm thinking, you know, I really want to do a video on this because one of the things I see a lot, um, not just in my clients, but personally myself in my life is that I do need to remind myself to put my mind, so my mindset, in a place of abundance. Because it's only when I, when I, in, a, in that place of abundance that my day goes as planned, or even better than that planned. You know, I, I, I know that when I, when, when my children said, what's wrong with you, mom? It's usually when I, feeling a little bit out of control or that I feeling that there's not enough time or that you know uh, I don't have what it takes or not enough or you know although that those conversations in my head kick in when I'm feeling in a place of lack and in a place that um, I need more of something so watch yourself today and see where you are are you leaning back in a place of abundance or are you leaning you know forward in a controlling more you know wanting way um, and one thing that I can offer you and I'm gonna have a worksheet on this email um, is this is an exercise that I practice I hope daily but it doesn't happen daily I, as often as I can early in the morning and it's something that my clients, many of them actually have integrated into their routines and it has made a huge difference and is consciously putting myself into a place of abundance. And the way I do that is that when I wake up in the morning, you know, one of the things I do as I plan my day is write a little, a short list, you know, it doesn't have to be very long of things I'm grateful for. Um, and it can't, it doesn't have to be big things. I'm grateful for a sunny day. I'm grateful for having my children in bed on time last night so that they will wake up happier. I'm grateful for, I don't know, Friday, you know, many times I'm grateful for the end of the week and, and the time with family. So, so putting yourself consciously in that place of what you're grateful for, in, it, it immediately sets your mind into a place of having, into a place of abundance because you're acknowledging what you have. And it allows you to step into your day from that mindset. Granted, it's hard to keep it through the day, but going back to that list is what centers me back into that place of abundance. So I want to give you this challenge for this week is, you know, first of all, observe yourself. Where are you? Are you leaning towards abundance or back towards abundance or are you 
in in forward in forward position trying to control and what are you grateful for what is it that in your life you would not change or give up and you you know realize that oh my god I have a lot to be grateful for so please you know take a minute do the exercise if you can do as many mornings with this exercise as possible and just observe how your week changes you know many of the things that we do in coaching is about you know tweaking and shifting little things through the day and see what works for you because not everybody you know needs all this all, all this exercise these are you have to find the one that works for you please send me an email Feel free to share this email with your friends and your network if you think that this exercise can serve them. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.